Hey everyone, welcome to Atlas Gaming. Please like and subscribe or release content every day. We're playing Nova Drift here. This game is in early access on Steam for $15. Check it out if it seems like it's something you're interested in. It's basically an action RPG with um, like arcade space combat style. But we we are at an, an upgrade here. I think we're on wave 36. It's kind of like a boss fight. Um, one thing I'm... I'm not liking for this boss fight is over here. Our body type is Leviathan. So we're gonna check something else out. We're gonna try Assault. Oh, where are we? There we are, okay. Top left. Okay, so I'm gonna come around here and try to get, try to get bombs inside of there. Yeah, I like this. This body a lot more already for this fight. Oh. Just trying to stay alive here. Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice. Bombs all up inside of there. What, is, what the heck's going on now? <laughs> how many of... Okay. Well, how many of these guys are there? Right, we have an upgrade... Okay, let's upgrade. I like the body. An elusive form of the cloaking ability. Nah, thanks. Close range torn is my least favorite weapon so far. I don't think we'll change any gear. We'll just uh, look at look at a mod here. Oh wait, you know what? No, I do want to change the weapon big time. What do we have? Uh, weapon pulse, short range electromagnetic blast. Not a big fan of that one. Right, right up here, you can see how many read rolls we have on gear. I'd like trading shrapnel. Let's try that. Oh wait, no, torrent's the worst. Yeah, okay. Um, shield is reflect. No, we're gonna go up here and do a mod. Let's do um, charge shot. Let's do charge your weapon to unleash a more powerful attack. Let's do that one. Oh, okay. It's a sniper rifle. I don't think this is going to go very well for me. We'll see. Oh, that's a big one. Okay. And actually, the, the projectile speed is pretty quick. What is this thing? Okay. It's exactly what it looks like. It's another spaceship. It's shooting at us. <laughs> okay, we have another upgrade. You get a lot of upgrades in this one, in this game. The Thermal Lance, I think we'll stick with it just for a little bit. Shock, okay, and then we will. Rapid Fire increases rate of fire. Ooh, yeah, I kind of like the idea of that one. Let's try that. And so this is the... Uh, well, it's like the action RPG aspect of this game where you you can min-max. There are synergies between um, upgrades and mods and things. Um, there are different, you know, weapon types. Then also, once you level up, um, there's there's a roguelike type of mechanic where even though you die, you get things that are um, unlockable in the game. And please correct me if I'm wrong. The roguelike mechanic stuff, I it, it seems pretty... Um, ambiguous, right? The, the definition of it. They actually had to, like, come up with a game, like, an, an industry standard, so that way there wasn't so much confusion. And um, even since that standard was introduced, it, it doesn't matter. All kinds of games that don't fit that standard are still classifying themselves as roguelites, and it's just what it is. People are going to say what they're going to say and do what they're going to do, right? We got an upgrade. I'm trying to... I don't think that this is the best weapon for me. It's It's been okay, but... I find myself just kind of like drifting around a lot, waiting to line up the shot and charge up the weapon. So let's see what else we can get here. Torrent is the worst. Um, let's let's re-roll. We only have five re-rolls left. Flak is my favorite. We'll get Flak. Oh, shoot. Okay. 
There we go. Oh, you thought you were going to get me, didn't you? See, like, just flack it. It's just way more my play style. Oh, singularity detected. Get out of the way. It's a black hole. This is the first one I haven't been sucked into immediately. We're going to try to, like, just avoid it and see what we can do here. Oh. Oh. I think it's going to fire at any moment. Yep. Oh, wow. Those are all, like, they're hurty. Huh. I'm doing uh, surprisingly well. I thought by now, like, I would have had, like, four or five deaths. So far, I've only had one. I don't even know what wave we're on. Um, Shockwave, Thermal Lance. I, I think we're good there. On the gear upgrades, let's, uh, let's do a... Class radius, mines, streamline. Let's try the mines. I haven't really tried. So you can see, like, the things are color-coded, right? The the reddish... I'm just going to call it red. The red background hexagons are weapon upgrades. The purple ones are shield upgrades. Um, the, like, lavender-colored ones are engines. And then these are, like, um, secondary things. So... Owner, oh, wow, that was pretty intense there. I don't need any more of that, thank you. Singularity, no thanks, don't want it. You can just stay right there in the middle of the screen. Honestly, I don't know why though. I don't I don't even know what they do, the singularities. Oh jeez. No more shields. Uh-oh, that looks like a bad thing that's happening right now. And I'm just going to go right into it. It's completely unintentional. Okay, so these are all the rank-ups. Look at all the unlocks that are remaining. 50, so every time you rank up, you get an unlock. That makes sense. To be expected. Enemy cargo trains unlocked. Enemy cargo trains now appear along your journey. Cargo trains can be destroyed through these... Oh, nice. Beware of mod effects listed in red. They can be powerful or result in certain death depending on your current upgrades. Okay. Okay. So 12 minutes on that playthrough, I guess. 12 minutes. I don't know. Here's a bunch of stats. Frankly, I don't really care. I like playing the game. I'm having fun. Um, I'm not to the point where I'm good enough where I, you know, care. At least. Oh, shoot. I'm clicking through all the upgrades. Dang it. Hyper boost. Uh, oh, yeah. But I'm not really to the point where I'm good enough to care about how well I'm doing this one versus my previous runs, if that makes sense. I don't think I have a good baseline to compare my performance to. Hyperboost power-up unlocks. Um, Hyperboost orbs can now drop from enemy cargo trains. Challenge mode. Oh, cool. A new game mode unlocked. Okay, I skipped through like four of them. Uh, four of those upgrades, so I don't even know half of the stuff that we got there. Ooh, look at that. That was a big change up from the first death. I guess there's my baseline. Um, let's go. Okay, so here's the danger zone. What is this? Waves advance faster and enemies enter the fray more frequently. Score bonus plus 25%. Experience bonus plus 5%. Wow. This game has a lot of content. I'm surprised. Let's check out danger zone. Endless, yeah, okay. So we'll go up here to start. And now this is like we have the basic weapon. We're back to square one. I don't know why I'm shooting the rocks. They don't give anything. They're just kind of there in the way. It'd be cool if some enemies showed up. Maybe like they show up. There we go. Once you destroy enough rocks, I have no idea. Okay, we got an upgrade. Let's do... Flack. Yep, that's kind of like my go-to. I really like it. I don't like um, having to aim so much. And then also, uh, whenever you know they come in clusters, that's what the weapon's for. It's like a shotgun. Singularity detected. Well. Nope. We want to <laughs> stay aimed away from the black hole, please. It's just like sucking in all the waves. And that's why you have a shotgun right there. That's why I like them. Okay, upgrade. Ooh, okay, so shield is a warp shield. 
When destroyed, the shield teleports you to a distance equal to the shield effect radius. Um, yeah, let's do this one. I had that one before. I didn't really pay attention to it, though, because there's so much else going on. Ooh, look at all that. Oh, cool. Holy cow. That does a lot of damage. Level up. Let's get an upgrade. Okay, you can see how quickly this game moves, how much more quickly it, it plays through, kind of like once you get used to it. Um, a sturdy... Oh, these are bodies. Okay. A sturdy form with boosted, penetrating crash damage and improved recovery. Let's check that out. Ooh, negative 30% rate of fire. I don't know about that. Specter, hole, okay. Ooh, good thrust, though. Good recovery rate, 15%. This is the engineer. Not too into, like, all the deployable type stuff. Maybe I should be. I'd probably make it way easier. Let's try that. In this playthrough, we'll try that. We're only on level 3. Oh, no, that's the level that we are. No, we're on wave 15. Okay, and then our ship is now level 4. Let's get an upgrade here. Okay, and so again, we're going to be focusing on the different loadouts here, um, or the engineer loadouts. So I'm, I'm dropping mines. That's, that's what that thing is. Oh, that was pretty sweet. Oh, a cargo train? Give me that money. Look at all those dice. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Another upgrade. Let's check it out. So an ally... Minefield? Oh, minefield? Wait, what do we have now? We just have mines. So, okay. Okay, so this is the next progression in that. So, cool. Let's try to focus on that kind of stuff. Let's you deploy your mines all at once in a cluster. Yup, thank you. Um, loaded mines causes mines to fire your weapon in a radial spread on detonation? Okay, so this is another part of that tree. Retribution automatically deploys mines when you take heavy hole damage. Define heavy. 10% of your maximum hole. Okay. That's pretty heavy, right? With eight rerolls up here, pretty sweet. Yeah, we're gonna go with loaded mines. And we have three more upgrades. And again, uh, we're focusing on this. On all the orange stuff. What is this one? Retribution. That's that's the mine one. Okay. Now, I think we're going to go with drones. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Okay, you can see in the upper left, we have a, um, a cooldown, right, for the mines. You got a black hole incoming. Get out of there. I'm not sure why. I've I've been sucked into a few black holes, and it doesn't really seem to do anything bad. Okay. So we have seven mines right there, all in a row. Oh, and then you can explode your mi Oh, man, that's awesome. You can explode your mines. You just press... So I have my um, my key assigned. I press 1. And then it deploys all the mines. And then I can press it again. Wow, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I can press it again. And then it explodes them all.
Can we get an upgrade? Let's check that out. Rocket drones. Oh, yeah. What? That's that's really cool. Advanced engineering. More powerful as you do. I like that. We have um, three more, I guess, upgrades. Converted drones into defense. No, we, we just got the rocket drones, right? Yeah, so reinforced drones. Rocket drones, yeah. We're, we're there. Right there. That looks good. Let's your ally dodge enemy. Nope, we we haven't even used the ally. I think it just deploys automatically. Let's see, automatically deploys mines when you take full damage. Assault drones. I'm not sure if these stack. Let's check it out. Let's see if they do stack. And we have one more upgrade. Nanotech reconstruction causes your ally to... Ally construct to regenerate whole over time. Okay, sure. Oh my gosh, this is... Wow, that's pretty cool. They're, they're doing a lot of the work, aren't they? <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. This is awesome. Okay, no, get get inside there, guys. Get inside there. We're all rainbowed out now. That's kind of cool. I'm trying to get the guys to shoot inside, but um, might not matter even. Yeah, they're definitely not attempting to shoot inside, so I'm guessing... Can we go inside of here? Yeah, I don't think it's a good idea that we're about to get messed up. over here. Wow, that's awesome. So they're they're all all like the allies, they're all focusing on the boss while I'm able to get the cargo train, which is cool. Uh oh, we're just gonna hopefully stick right in here. Wow, that was great. Let's get our upgrade. Uh, formation Pursuit. Oh, nice. So let's your drones use Formation Pursuit in which they abandon your side to hunt down enemies. Okay. I don't think I want that one. <laughs> I, do I just don't. Assault drones. Oh, I see. That's part of that tree. Well, what else do we have here? Formation Battalion, gain a new drone formation and the ability to toggle between them. Drones in Formation Battalion, uh, line up along your flanks and fire ahead of you. I think I think they're doing just great without being micromanaged. And there's the final... Yeah, we'll get that one. That's the final... The final, um, I guess, upgrade in that skill tree. Yeah, this is my favorite so far. All the extra things. Um, instead of like me being the only one firing, having a bunch of drones and mines and an ally, that's it's been really nice. Interceptor transforms your ally construct to, into an interceptor that fires your weapon in addition to its own at a slower rate of fire. That sounds really good. Um, is that part of... No, that's a new skill tree. You can see we're just going down the orange line here. Yeah, we're definitely going for that. We have 18 rerolls. One upgrade to choose from. Ooh. Wait. Yeah. So we, do you want to be a carrier? A form that deploys swarm constructs whose behavior uh, depends on the state of your defenses. Yeah, I kind of like that. That really fits in line with, you know, it's an action RPG, right? So, like, using the, the RPG elements where we can. Oh, we had another upgrade already. Okay. Guardian transforms your... Okay, but they don't... Like, how many of these things do we have available? You know, how many do we have available? And then do they stack or overlap? Or do they, like, you know, just null each other out? Let's start maybe doing some... Some defensive things. I'm actually going to call that video here, though. Um, and we'll progress through this. I really enjoy this... Um, this build, right? It's a build. I like this build. 
the like um all the peripheral things going on with mines and drones and then like all the, the ally stuff and basically not shooting my weapon myself <laughs> it's like having a bunch of employees doing the work for me uh this is no Dr nova drift check it out on steam it's an early access it has been for a couple years um the, the develop it's like the developer's baby you can tell they make a lot of um changes listen to the community um and community improvements thanks for watching atlas gaming i'll see you in the next one